Hey guys, Juan Terabix here, back in another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dark Trooper Attack, Luke Skywalker. This is a great figure, so let's get into it. Starting from the bottom, going to the top, you can see that this minifigure, unfortunately, has no foot printing, but you can see the Jedi robes coming down on his um, legs there, which look very good. But if we take a look at this minifigure's accessories, you can see that it is a silver lightsaber hilt with a green blade, which is accurate to the show. Uh, the Mandalorian. This is the Dark Trooper Attacks from the Dark Trooper Attack set, which um, was a great set. I'm unlucky that I, uh, or well, I'm lucky that I got one, but I wish I had gotten two. Um, it's pretty hard to find right now, honestly, because it's retired, but whatever. Um, you can see for the torso as well that the Jedi robes kind of go in, in and not out which look very good with the black overlapping there and then his utility belt there with the um, buckle in the middle with the belt go black belt going around it with some more silver components there. The lightsaber um, holder on his belt there uh, for the hilt to go on with the attachment at the bottom, which looks very good. But you can see for his arms, they are both black, but his hands are different since in the Empire Strikes Back, he did get his hand chopped off by Darth Vader. Sorry for the spoilers, but... If you haven't seen uh, The Empire Strikes Back and you're watching this video, you're welcome to stay, but you've most likely clicked off because of the uh, spoilers. I apologize. Um, but you can see that one hand has the black glove on it because he doesn't want people knowing that he has a robotic hand or that it's easier to pick up stuff. I don't know. And then you can see his one regular tan hand here, which looks very, looks very good. But if we look at his cape here, it is a just regular Lego cape, but it is the good cape because it is the, the cloth and not the like tougher, not really plastic. That one's technically cloth cloth as well, but I'll compare them right now. I'm just gonna cut and get one of those. Uh, you can see the difference here. I have the Dr. Doom minifigure I re reviewed earlier um, this month, but you can see the difference. Like when I scratch it, you can hear. It's like softer. But yeah, so I'm gonna go put this back and I'll be right back. But if we lift up the cape here, the very nice cloth cape, you can see there is some back printing. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna take the cape off to, whoa, whoops. <laughs> the whole minifigure accidentally came off because I lifted by the head. But yeah, if we take this off, he does have an alternate face. We will get to it in a second. I don't know, it's so tough to take this minifigure apart. I'm gonna cut and then you will see the back. You can see the back of the torso is almost identical to the front of the torso with the Jedi robes coming down just without the utility belt, but the back of the belt is coming around his waist. So now what we can take a look at is if we put his cape back on, you can see, actually I'm gonna cut, put this back on and put his head back. But you can see it's the regular Luke face here with the kind of blonde eyebrows there with the black eyes and white pupils there with the black mouth kind of gesturing at a smile with the chin kind of marks there. So it looks very good. And then you can see his alternate face has the, still has the blonde eyebrows with the black eyes and white pupils. But you can see the mouth is a little bit more stern. His eyebrows are a little bit more pointed inward to suggest that he is either angry or like, I don't know. I think angry is probably the only expression that he uses usually <laughs> because he's usually frustrated. But you can see, yeah, he's either like uh, confused, mean, or frustrated, I'm not sure. But it looks very good. You can see he's like a little bit more stern with the chin marks there as well. Uh, but yeah. So now we can take a look at the hood, which is very, very nice. Uh, it's not like a normal hood with where the, it's not like a hoodie hood where it's like, um, it comes down to the center. It's part of his robes or supposed to be part of his robes, but you can see that it goes like all the way down, all the way around, which looks very good. I might add, cause it is a great figure. It comes to the point at the back because there's a little bit of extra hood there. We can see it's molded very nicely. And now I can, I am going to show you guys a regular hood um, other than like this hood. Taking Dr. Doom again, you can see that his hood is a little different if I put him in the light where it comes to a point in the middle like a hoodie kind of, but it looks very nice um, either way. I personally prefer this one, even though I'm trying to get a dark red hood. If anybody knows where to get a dark red hood or a third-party Lego store that sells dark red hoods, please tell me in the comments because I've been looking for one for like six months. It's crazy. 
Um, I'm trying to complete an older public figure, but back to this Luke Skywalker right here from the Dark Trooper Tax set. I'm going to rate this minifigure a nice 8.5 out of 10, but I'll rate it in the prices right now that we've looked at everything about this minifigure with the prints, capes, hoods, everything. Now we can take a look at the price. Okay, so used this minifigure is $4.67, but new is $4.98. So with the $0.31 cent difference there, this is a great figure. I would most likely get it new. You saw by the hood and everything that they portray the character from the show very well. Or not just the character, but Luke Skywalker portrays Luke Skywalker very well. But overall this is a great minifigure i'm going to put his lightsaber back so that you can see the full minifigure and i'll give you the last couple spins but overall i'm going to rate this minifigure a nice um i'm actually going to give him a nine contrary to what i said before about an 8.5 i thought about it a little more bef um before i turned the video back on or put started recording again i think i'm going to do a nine because this you can just see by me spinning it that this is a great figure um Another Jedi figure to add to your collection if you want. But tell me in the comments if you're going to get this figure. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. And goodbye.